Finally, ChatGPT has enabled us to use any MCP server within ChatGPT, unverified MCP server. So you can use ChatGPT like an MCP client and connect it to any MCP server that you want. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable that. And I'm going to also show you how you can add an MCP server within ChatGPT and then how to invoke it. Stick to the end of the video and then let me know if it was useful. First of all, this is a new feature that is available today. So I'm going to show you a demo how it works. Then we are going to see how to enable it. So I just said in a new conversation, can you read the wiki structure of kidup.com slash transformers, hugging face transformers only using deep wiki MCP. And as you can see here, I've got an MCP that is enabled which is deep wiki MCP. And first of all, for people who do not know what is MCP here, this is not Minecraft server that we are talking about. This is model context protocol originally introduced by Anthropic. It's kind of a communication channel between two different systems and it's become quite popular to be honest. Like I've tried to stay away from MCP as long as I wanted, but I think I can't stay away anymore. So this is like one of the easiest ways for you to establish connection between some sort of a data or some sort of a system with your LLM based system. And here we have got an MCP server added and this entire thing can be called like an MCP client. So that's what we have done. And once I said that it was looking for an available tool and it found the only available tool in this case that can do the job. And in this case, um, it's a saying tool is available and then it is doing calling this and trying to get that information from and that information technically comes from here. So you can see this whole information about hugging face transformer came from here. It was not searched, it was not done anything. It came from here and then it is available for us to use. How did we get here? The very first thing that you have to do is you have to enable the MCP option for you. So ChatGPT has some sort of connector for quite a while and I think this is available for plus users, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So these are already pre-built connectors available for you. Connect with your Gmail, connect with your Google Calendar. It can do both read and write. How do you enable the MCP server? Go to settings. After you go to settings, uh, you can see connectors and you can see I've already added my connector here. So the MCP server scroll to the bottom most place and click advanced settings and then see this developer mode allows you to read, uh, sorry, add unverified connectors that could modify or erase data permanently. So this is very critical. If you do not know an MCP server, like if, if it's from an untrusted source, you might end up losing data you might end up giving all your chat information. So you connect with an MCP server only that you trust and you know. So you have to enable the developer mode. And once you enable the developer mode, then you can start adding MCP servers, custom MCP servers. So I'm going to go here, plus more developer mode. And inside developer mode, I've got option to connect more. Click connect more. And this is the place where you can click and create a new connector. And the new connector is ideally an MCP. So I've got the name of the connector that I want to add. I'm going to add a simple, uh, let's say deep wiki MCP, because this is one of the free MCPs that are available where you don't have to do authentications. I'm showing it to you the easiest thing that we can do. So we have the base server URL and within MCP, there are two different ways to connect. One is a streamable HTTP. The other one is an SSE. Somehow when I tried to connect it with an SSE, it did not connect for this particular demo. So I'm going to go connect with MCP, the streamable MCP, but you, in fact, ChatGPT itself is giving you an SSE as an example. So I guess technically an SSE should work, but in this case, it did not work. Do we need an authentication? No, we don't need an authentication. We're going to place the MCP server URL here. And then I'm going to just say, um, it helps uh, you get the GitHub repo data um, powered by Mr. Devin. Okay. So I've got all these things. And uh, again, there is a warning. I trust this application. So I'm going to trust this application. Like I said, MCP server is not just a request, not just fetching, but it can work both the ways. So always make sure that you know the MCP server before you connect. Click create. And uh, uh, I, yeah, so I've got this name, DeepWiki MCP. I can add an icon here. I'm not like very interested. So it has been added. Um, we can see that DeepWiki MCP is added. I'm going to start it. Generally, if I just go search for something, okay, um, give me details about, um, let's pick one of the repo here that is available here. So I'm going to select local sin. Um, this is for those who do not know, I absolutely love local sin because it's one of the easiest ways to send data to Mac from Android, vice versa. So I've said, give me details about github.com local sin. I'm going to just send it and I've selected GBT five, uh, option. 
and you can see that by default it goes to web um okay so it's it's not very easy for us to force it so what i'm going to do is i want to so to do this i want to select gpt instant because i don't want it to do a lot of thinking after selecting gpt instant and i'm going to select more developer mode and i'm going to enable the deep wiki mcp so within deep wiki mcp i'm just going to say uh, give me the wiki content of github repo okay sorry um wiki structure i should have said maybe uh of github repo only using deep wiki mcp so let's try our luck if it works sometimes it uh, just gets confused between uh, using internet not using internet so in this case it works uh, so it's looking for available tools and it has understood that the tool is available and it's saying okay it wants to talk to this tool so it want to call the tool it's like function calling and uh, right actions come with risk it's asking should i confirm i want to confirm but i don't want it to remember the conversation confirm it now it is going to call this mcp server so you can read more about it here it's going to use this fetch information and then do that and then collect the information and get back to us so you can see it has gotten back to us with this particular thing so um yeah 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 do it like say, yeah do it now if you say it's probably going to use different tools this time in this case it's using the same tool let's do confirm again i just said okay full content let's see what it is going to do call the tool because we have only three options here uh, read wiki content read wiki structure ask questions so it's probably going to give us the entire documentation yeah it's giving the entire documentation and it is all coming from deep wiki and it is through the mcp server so it's using the mcp protocol model context protocol and then getting it back to us so technically you should be able to build your own mcp server so they have got a documentation here on how you can build mcp servers for chat gpt and also api integration you can see a lot of details here especially the example very similar to what i gave this can be like an mcp server for your organization and your data and then you can just build a server on top of it and then you can add it to chat gpt and if you are on an enterprise or team plan then your team can go ahead and then start using the tool it could have both read and write capabilities so for example you could have a post system point of sale system and then you could use chat gpt to go update some details about it or could be calendar invites or could be a lot of different things mcp has become really really popular recent days not just for like simple data transaction but for a lot more things than that and uh, it's it's going to be quite fun to see what it is going to do but the most important thing that you have to keep in mind is kind of risks and safety issues so mcp servers like for you to add any random mcp server you could be adding a malicious mcp mcp server that could steal your data so these are certain things that you have to keep in mind and also like it's prone to prompt injection but generally keep in mind that you should not add anything that you do not know about and if you if you are very familiar and clear and you know the mcp server i think it's going to be a lot of fun to use chat gpt with mcp because a lot of people have been looking for one client where it is relatively faster and easier to add mcp servers just to try it out let me know what do you think about mcp server and mcp server integration with chat gpt See you in another video. Happy prompting.